Hi everyone, today I'm going to open up something that I've been wanting to open for quite, for quite some time. And honestly, I didn't do it just because I didn't have the space or I've been trying to open a lot of other stuff that just came out, but I finally have the chance to do so. And that is gonna be Toka versus Sukiyama uh, from Figurama. So this statue right here, I missed the pre-order, but I was able to get it. And it actually was quite a bit, so this was actually my most expensive statue or figure or whatever it was that I've ever owned. So you know how awesome it's going to be. So Figurama does some really awesome things and awesome statues and there's a lot of a lot of them that I wanna get, like the Attack on Titan one, the Bleach one, really the Made in Abyss one, just like there's just so many statues from Figurama that I wanna get, but um, I was able to get this Toka one and I'm super excited to show you guys and it's gonna be awesome. Like I said, this is probably going, not my biggest or tallest one, but still probably the most unique and awesome statue that I have. So I do have, I am planning on getting more statues to show you guys, but this one's gonna be my first Figurama statue that I have. So I don't wanna keep talking. Like I said, I just wanna show you guys because I'm super excited to open it and I'm just, and I'm just ready to go. So let's get started with opening her and seeing how she looks. So here is just the LED uh, placements. I actually won't be using this just because I don't think that, to me, I wanna use, I just wanna have the statue in itself, but if you guys wanted to, there it is. Um, so that's pretty cool, I really do like it. And then here is um, the figurama where it's gonna show us the instruction and everything, I like the seal. So there's this, this one's pretty cool. I do gotta find a way to, to put this together um, in a frame because this just looks fantastic. And then here's a certificate of authenticity. I got 131 out of 993. I like these because I like to have the smallest number as possible. So as you guys can see, this one looks great. Um, I have 191. So and here's just the instructions on how to put them. This one is a little bit harder when I was looking at them, as you guys can see. Um, it is a little bit easier than the Nico Robin one, but it I wish it showed us a little bit. But so here, here's the base. This one, I don't really know what the word says. Um, if anyone can uh, tell me in the bottom and see what it says. But this one's pretty cool. I love the base. It's not too big. It doesn't take away from the statue itself, but it is pretty cool. So it does have um, a lot of writing and love the thorns and, and branches and everything like that around it. Um, they are, um, they do feel like they hurt a little bit because they are uh, sharp so if you guys do get it just be careful because it will probably hurt a little bit when you're moving it so it is heavy surprisingly um, compared to what I thought it was going to be but as you guys can see um, it does look pretty cool I'm not I'm not mad about it at all um, so yeah this one is definitely a pretty cool base so I'm glad that they're able to do a, an awesome one for this statue because Tokyo Ghoul, even though it has its flaws, I really do like it. So, um, And then the one thing that I really also enjoy is the flower in the middle that they're able to bring in there. So that's, that's a pretty cool thing that they're able to do and uh, hopefully they can do a lot more. I've seen Figurama have a lot of cool bases, so I'm glad that they're able to, to keep the, this one as well. So here is the things that we're gonna be putting. I do wanna show some of them, and this, these are just gonna be around the base. So as you guys can see, it's a pretty cool thing. And then right here is probably one of my favorite ones, um, just because just how it looks, as you guys can see, it has a really amazing detail. And it's basically the, the church that it goes around it. So it has a lot of cool stuff, has the mask, has a lot of crystals. And then yeah, see this one, I'm a little worried about because it doesn't sit right in so I'm not quite entirely sure as you guys can see um, what it's supposed to be so as of right now I'm leaving it how it is but I got to figure out how that looks so a lot of this stuff has crystals um, and that you guys will be able to see because there's crystals all over the place but I do like them I am going to show them a little bit but yeah they're pr it's pretty simple with the instructions to put together um, and, but yeah, here is the first body shot that there is. Um, and he looks pretty cool. It has some like degrading to it, I guess. It's not fully red. And then even his like pants and everything like that. So, 
Um, he does look amazing, and he definitely is going to look a lot better with his head and everything like that. But as you guys can see, it was pretty hard for me to put him in. Um, I didn't know exactly where to put him in, so I had to move stuff around. So um, even though um, the instructions tell you to put stuff in at first, I just usually try to see if it doesn't fit or not. Then I'll just take stuff out, and then as you guys can see, it fits. And then I just put this crystal back in where it was. So um, no worries on it being hard to put in together. But yep, a lot of crystals, as you guys can see. I just wanted to show you guys a few because they do look awesome um i do love that they have so many actually i'm i was i didn't think i was going to but it does look great so yep like i said another more another crystal um and that's just how it, the whole statue is around it at least so and then there's more of these um base and just floor i guess the, the concrete of the of the church um and they all it's and what I do like about this doesn't show um, a lot of stuff on the base. It doesn't take away from the figure itself. Um, so I do like that they're able to do that. It does have some stuff around it, but it doesn't take up. But as you guys can see, I'm trying to put it together. And like I said, you just have to take some out, which is fine. Um, as you guys can see that I'm struggling to put this together. But from what I was able to do is just take them out and then just put them together. So I don't know why they did that of just telling you how to do it. But that's just how it is. So And then this one I had trouble with. Um, if my camera would focus. Um, it said to put it on like right there. And I'm sorry that it's not, it's not focusing. But it doesn't let me actually put it on there. There's like nothing. There's not a hole in there to put. So... Um, I just basically didn't put this in, so I just said, hey, forget about it. But, And then there's these, like I said, more crystals and then just the, the floor and everything like that. So um, I was able to put it in there. And then this is Toka. She does look great, even though she looks a little bit small. But with the base and everything itself, the statue makes it look fantastic. So, yeah, I really do like her. And she does have these two spots for her her wings that she's gonna have in the back but as you guys can see i've been struggling to put a lot of this stuff in because i don't want to break them resins are very easy to break and that's what scares me because these are a lot of money so as you guys can see i was finally able to put them in very carefully and then now we're going to be able to put one of her wings is on the right side of her so that has a lot of good detail to it um, but it's pretty small, which I'm not sure if on the show she has like just one a lot bigger. I'm trying to remember. I'm, I'm assuming she does because Figurama was able to do it. So it doesn't have anything different. But here is the arm right here. I guess the hand that's going to be on the right side. And it does look fantastic. I love like it looks kind of like bloodish veins on them. And that's pretty cool. So um, and that one just has a lot of cool design to it that it just goes around his arm and i really love this fight that they're able to do this one i do need the king kaneki one because being to put them together will be pretty cool but yeah see this is to me is a little bit harder as you guys can see that i'm trying to put it in it's it isn't as easy as you guys i'm, I'm it makes it out to be but yeah i think i just had to stretch it out i because i'm too scared to do anything with it because they, like I said, they are too easy to break. And there you go. So, and then this next one right here is this ginormous monster of a wing that I am a little scared that it might like fall because it's just so big. But I'm pretty sure Figurama was able to do their own thing. So, it has that red yellow feel to it that I do like. I'm not sure why it has too much pink on it. But yeah, as you guys can see, there's the crystals. And then me trying to carefully put this in because the like i said the base where toka is standing isn't too sturdy and that's what i have to try to figure out but again it's very hard for me to put it together because i don't want to break it and then see like the base doesn't make it better for me because it might i'm scared that it might fall so but there you go there you have it and then i just wanted to show you guys a better look at it all around it just even though it's a one six scale it does have a lot of cool designs and it makes it feel a lot more bigger than what it actually is so 
Um, even my Nico Robin that's one fourth is about the exact same size. So this one is a fantastic. And then they also do have these extra busts, like the smaller busts that they have. So like the head that you didn't put on the statue itself, you can put on there. So I didn't like that face very well, but it does have this one. I think that face is a lot better, but I do like the masked one for them. So it's pretty cool. I am going to put them, as you guys can see, I'm going to put them right there. Um, so you can be right next to them because I think that's what you should have um, because it has a lot of cool stuff to it and it does feel like it just comes together with it so I'm really happy about this statue that it looks fantastic and that they were able to do this for Toka so I just wanted to get a kind of 360 view of the statue and it really is a beautiful piece I love that they are able to do the bright colors but then also kind of have like this grayish around it and it was one of the ones that like i one of the fights that i really did enjoy of tokyo goal there's only a few especially after two and three weren't as great as i thought it was going to be but as you guys can see of the back shot it has a pretty cool shot that they're able to do of each angle for the for the statue and it really is has some pretty cool things around it so as you guys can see like the bunny mask right there and then a lot of the candles that they're able to do so it feels like a like it does have that church vibe with all the the glass the stuff around it at least in the bottom and stuff like that so um one of the things that i really did enjoy about this was that they're able to bring the fight to life i guess because it was um a pretty cool fight so i really do enjoy this one um as you guys can see just has the beautiful colors and this is something that might not be for everyone because i've known some people don't like it but for me especially because i like tokyo ghoul the first and second season was one that i really wanted to get when i tell you guys that took the longest time it really did i think it was probably over an hour just trying to figure out where stuff went and just trying not to break it but it turned out fantastic i tell you guys that figurama really does amazing statues and it shows like this looks fantastic i really love these wings just everything about it this just looks great and i wanted to get a closer look at toka and sukiyama because the colors look great and it definitely the video doesn't do justice because it was kind of like looking out but this does look better in person and up close. And with the little details that they have with everything around the base and then around the feet. They do have a lot of stuff around it, which doesn't uh, take away from the statue, but it does have a lot of cool effects that I'm glad that they're able to do, as you guys can see what they have there. And honestly, one of my favorite things that I do like is just the action shot of their faces. And I chose this one because it definitely looked a lot better than the other one, as you guys can see. And then this one, I just love the mask so much that they're able to do with him. And then again, I just wanted to get another action shot of just both of them together. And so you guys can see what they look like. But yeah, if there is a possibility for you guys to at least get this or maybe one of other uh, Figurama statues, I definitely recommend because this looks great. So I'm hoping that I can get the King Kaneki one. Uh, because those two are probably one of the most iconic like, fight scenes that they have. Obviously, this one and the one with King Kaneki when he when they play that opening song, and it's just one of the best songs out there, honestly. But I really want to get him so I can put them together. But yeah, this one looks great. So I'm hoping to get more statues to show you guys because opening this up is making me want to get more. So we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm super excited about this one, and hopefully you guys like it too. So. Like I said, there will be more statues coming along and hopefully they all come soon. So, but thank you guys for watching until next time.